Hello all, my name is Justin Bear, aka Nowhere Brain, and welcome to the first lesson in modeling a female. Sorry about that noise, I'm just adjusting my uh, headphone microphone thing set up. Anyway, let's go ahead and one of the first things I'm going to need to do is, well besides make that uh, align horizontally, is I'm going to need to uh, set up some uh, image planes. So to do this, let's go up to the top view and I'm going to pull the 3D cursor out to here and let's open up the properties. Oh, we've already got the view properties. Um, on Y, I'm going to set that to zero just to make sure it's lined up and to be honest, that's kind of wasting time <laughs> because, let's go to the side, um, I'm probably going to have to adjust the image so let's add a mesh and we'll add a plane. Tab out of edit mode and scale it up. If we go to wireframe, there we go. Scale that up a little bit more. Hold down control to constrain it. Okay, well, let's undo all that. Okay, now scale, control. want to kind of snap it to uh, one of those grid squares. Just so that I have it there. There we go. That'll give me something to go off on um, another view. Anyway. So let's go back into shaded, and what we're going to do there is, I'm not going to worry about the material IDs. We've already got a material ID. I'm going to add a new material to the object, and we're going to call this um, image plane underscore one. Okay. So we've got a material, but uh, it's not really going to make any difference unless we put the texture on it. So we're going to add a new texture. And the texture type, we're going to make it an image. And it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Let's just name it Bloody Molly. I've got my caps lock on, so anyway, turn that off. And we're going to load our image. And here we go, we've got this thing. <laughs> this dialog. So let's go to Products and Tutorials, Blender, Modeling the Body, and Bloody Molly PNG. Okay, and as you can see, it's down here. So if we go back up into our shaders, you can see it's there. Let's change our map in our map to, I'm sorry, our map input and flat. Okay, let's go Shift Z up here or Alt Z. Whoops. And um, on this layer, we don't have any lights or anything, so I'm going to hit A twice to gather everything. Um, actually, I'm just going to take the image plane, hit M, and put that on the first layer. So let's go to layer 1. And it's still unlit, so let's go ahead and just um, change the ambience of it. But I don't know if it's going to matter here. Texture, there we go. And I don't... Uh, don't see it. I'm just trying to see what uh, might be the issue here. Okay. Map to the color. Okay. Let's try ambience as well. And I'm going to actually enter the game engine by hitting P. And okay, escape out of that. So. Let me do a quick render, pause the video. Okay, I just did that so I can confirm that it was on there. Um, let's go ahead and tab into edit mode. And let's actually edit the UVs. Go to UV face select and let's go back to the side. I'm going to hit U and project from view. Okay, I'm going to split the window. I think that might have something to do with it. Let's go to the UV image editor. And image, use Buddy Molly. There it is. Okay, so you, I'm sorry, E, unwrap. Okay, that pretty much just squares it off here. Set A to select all, and I'm going to hit R to rotate, hold down control, and rotate it around 180. There we go. And now we can just go back into object mode and collapse this window. 
Okay, so let's uh, scale that in on Y. Just going to watch the general proportions of the model. Get it to where I think it looks about right. And that's okay. That arm actually might look a little bit short. But now let's grab and move it on Y and put her uh, hips right inside the 3D cursor because I know that the 3D cursor is already centered on Y. And I did this, I do a drawing like this, um, <coughs> excuse me, so that while we're in the modeling the side view, we can still see the front. And when we're modeling the front view, we can still have reference to the side. So there's no reason to draw both halves um, since I'm mirror modeling. So um, let's shift D to copy that. And let's just put it over here. And then let's rotate it on Z. Hold down control. And 90 is what we want. There we go. So now if we go to the front view, I need to make sure that the um, 3D cursor is on 0 on X. There we go. Another way to do it is Shift C. There we go. So now we can grab that, move it on X, and put that generally right about centered on the crotch. Let's get in there. G, X, hold down Shift. Let me get as close to that as possible. Okay. Now in perspective we'll have some image planes that we will not even use in perspective view. Let's pull that back on Y a little bit. Let's keep it out of our way. There we go. Now they are will not they won't be in our way so much when modeling. Um one more thing. Okay, they are already single sided, so actually in edit mode though. You can see they have a backside. Uh, I don't think we can really change that. We go to object editing, horizontal, and if we may turn off double sided on that, it's still going to have a uh, backside when we're modeling. So, um, if somebody knows a way to change that, you know, let me know because that would be handy. So, you know, F2 to save our scene, and we're just going to go to Bloody Molly Body 01. I'm going to save over that. And that's the end of this video. It's a very short video, so well, actually, real quick, we will just uh, add a cube. There we go. That way, we have something to work with. See if we go into shaded mode, though, we can't see anything. It's as black as black can be. I wonder why that is. but you can't model in the textured mode. Ah, oh, yes you can. Good. That's exactly what I want. Okay. <clears throat> we just won't really be able to see our model unless we're modeling. So, anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, save our scene again. Control-W. And I'll thank everybody for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.